Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from the Skill Builder channel and what I'd like to talk to you today about in this little rant is blue roofs. Have you ever heard of a blue roof? Blue roof, I saw it. No, you probably haven't because what is a blue roof? A blue roof is a roof which is intended to retain water. Rather than having the water running off at a rate of several litres a minute, we've got a flat roof here and we let the water build up on the roof. Now why would anybody in their right mind want to do that? We all know that the faster you can get water away from a roof, the better, the less likely it is to leak. Hence the pitch roof, which has been around for many centuries, is better than a flat roof. Flat roofs are trouble. Blue roofs have the potential to be even more trouble. So the reason people want to retain this water on their roof is because we're all trying to stop this flooding. We're all trying to slow down the rate at which rainwater enters the drainage system and the, the rivers, the streams and all the rest of it. So that if we get heavy rainfall, rather than everybody's roof running off at the same rate and all chucking it in, the idea is that we have blue roofs which slow that water down. It's called attenuation. It's actually holding it back. We're holding back that water and we're letting that water build up and we're letting that water trickle off the roof at a much slower rate, say over the course of 24 hours. That's the theory. The only trouble is the blue roofs are you know, a relatively new thing. They need to be done really, really well because obviously the potential for leaks is far greater, but there are no actual British standards or codes of practice or anything like that on building blue roofs at the moment. They're too new. The National Federation of Roofing Contractors actually come up with some guidance on it of what you should do and what you shouldn't do. And one thing you don't do is make it up as you go along. Exactly the same thing applies to wet rooms. If you start trying to bodge your own one up and put down all kinds of things like asphalt and all the rest of it, think, oh, that won't leak. It blooming well will. So it must be done as part of a proper proprietary system and it must be done with some kind Kind of you know warranty or guarantee on it obviously it's going to be one of those things which are going to cause a huge amount of trouble now not only is a, a, a blue roof supposed to be better for the environment if you like slow down the the flooding or reduce the flooding but also people say that blue roofs can be combined with a green roof so you can put a vegetation layer over the top of this, put it in those trays that they have, see them or any of those sort of things. Whatever you want to grow, you can grow on the top. But there's not a great deal of water in here, but it's just enough. I mean, I suppose you could grow rice on there. It'd be an ideal rice paddy, wouldn't it? Or something like that. But anyway, the idea is you can put your green vegetation on the top. You've got a bit of water there. And the whole thing, one of the advantages that they talk about with a blue roof is that it cools the building down. That if you live in a very hot area, that having this layer of water here and this soggy mass of vegetation on the top means that when the sun comes down onto the roof and acts as an insulating layer and slows down the heat going on the building, which is all very well, but if you're living in the tropics or you're living in a country that's that hot, I reckon this would take about an hour and a half to dry out completely. So I don't really buy that idea of it cooling the building down very much because I think the evaporation rate on that blue roof would be huge. You would lose it all, as I say, over a few hours, I would think. But anyway, that's the latest bit of madness that they're talking about. You know, it seems to me that um, it's another disaster waiting to happen, but that's, uh, that's the building industry for you. I'd love to know what you think because you're not gonna do a blue roof, I'm not gonna do a blue roof. Blue roofs are gonna be done by blue roof specialists and uh, they're gonna be, no, they're not gonna be phoning you up going, would you like a blue roof? It's gonna be done as part of, you know, the grand designs, the architects, that kind of person who's an eco warrior who thinks, yeah, I've gotta do everything I can, man, to save the planet. So if you come across one of those people, if you're at a party and somebody starts waxing lyrical, oh yes, we're going to have a blue roof, you know. At least you know something about it. That's all I can offer you from this video. I just thought it was a point of interest and uh, something that's gonna be cropping up more and more. It's part of what we call SUDS, the Sustainable Urban Drainage System in towns and places like that where we've got you know huge problems with the runoff of water. This is supposed to be one of those things that's gonna help. Blue roof, green roof, cyan roof. <laughs> Try red roof. Red roof. Ah! <laughs>